All right, spoilers for Oshinoko episode one. I'm going to assume that you've seen it, but if you haven't, go give it a watch first. Also, this video is going to be pretty amateur. I just threw this all together within a couple hours, so. Okay, um, I, I, what the, man, I just finished watching the first episode of Oshinoko, and it's like, I have so many thoughts on it, and it's like, holy shit man i don't even know where to begin i wanted to like just i don't know it's just that episode was like so good and it's oh my god okay um kind of unrelated but not really um so last year i binge read all of chainsaw man within one sitting and that rose up to be probably my favorite manga uh, i've ever read like, it was such a journey, dude. Like, I laughed, I cried, I fell in love with the characters and everything, and, like, it is my second favorite uh, piece of, like, anime, manga, whatever you want to call it. But, like, that entire journey made me feel so many different things within the span of, like, a hundred-ish chapters. And, like, Oshino Ko managed to do all of that within one episode. It's like, like, what the fuck, man? I, like, I am so baffled like it was okay um so i knew about the premise of the show before going into it like i knew that like there were some really fucked up parts about it but the fact that like the doctor guy gets reincarnated and i knew that like i would die but like i i still got hit in the field so hard like i was like devastated and like actually crying tears and like that show made me feel shit with one episode and it's like there's just so many cool things about it and i'm just rambling here but like like i went into it thinking oh like the person behind uh kaguya sama love is war made this so it's probably gonna be really good i mean like the like kaguya sama is like my fifth favorite anime of all time like that one that show is absolutely amazing and like the writing and characters are great and stuff and like going into oshinoko i knew oh yeah they wrote this series so it's probably gonna be like at the very least good right but like i didn't expect it to be that much of a freaking roller coaster like an example would be like at the beginning you get the doctor guy and he's like oh he's a fan of this idol like you probably be weirded out by it like oh this 20 year old dude is like admiring this 16 year old but then it like it gives his backstory and like why he cares about her and stuff and that was because of like this one uh girl that he used to take care of in the hospital she would always like she admired her a lot and she wanted to be like uh, i one day and then she died and then that's sort of his way of like honoring her is by like admiring i too and that like i thought it was just gonna be like oh he's just an otaku i mean and he kind of is but like also there's like a deep reason for that and it's like that was only within like the first 10 minutes and then after that he dies and then he gets reincarnated and reincarnated as eyes one of her twins and it's like that that went from like a hundred to a thousand within like one backflip it was like so crazy like there's just so many different things about this show that are like so weird but so perfectly executed and like this is kind of unrelated to what i'm talking about but like the animation was so good i was in awe at how pretty the show was like i was expecting for there to be a moment where it was like oh you could tell the production dropped over here but no it was beautiful throughout the entire thing it's like so crazy how pretty it looks there were so many cool things and themes within like that single episode alone like the freaking Okay, I'm trying to make my own comic series and I like try to take stuff from like what I've seen and then implement it into my own things. So I was like trying to like there was a the recurrence of like, oh, lying is like a big thing. And I thought, oh, uh, I could probably make up a story sort of like where like lies are a big theme and stuff. But then like they actually like went into more depth with that and stuff. And it was like that was so cool to see. And like I, don't, I can't properly convey my feelings on it, but it's just so cool and like invigorating to like watch that episode and see like all the different darker themes to it with like the darker side of the entertainment industry and this isn't really like a like a big theme but it's sort of like a message i guess they were trying to convey but like there's the flow of social media and like trying to keep up with it like you have the pretty realistic uh depictions of twitter where it's like people like 
constantly shitting on like the idols and not acknowledging that they're also humans too and then there was that one part that like really hit me hard because like after i died for like the next three days it was like the biggest thing to talk about and like everybody was like making their own conspiracy theories and stuff and it's like that's disgusting to think about how accurate that is because like you could see shit like that where people like use somebody's death and use it to like push their own agenda or like try to get attention and stuff and it's like they implemented that into the show and it's like a the thing that nobody is really talking about i mean to my knowledge at least but like that happens a lot where like somebody will die and then like people won't treat it like somebody actually died they'll just either use it for like attention or like use it to push their own agenda instead of like acknowledging that this was a person this person had their own life and their own dreams and goals and happiness and stuff and they died and you're not acknowledging that over the fact that oh I could use this to push my own thoughts and agenda forward. And it's like, I I didn't think this show would implement that. Like I said, this isn't like a big theme, but it's just like a cool message that I keep thinking about lately with like the whole flow of social media. That's a pretty cool modern message that I, some people could probably learn from. There's just so much that I could talk about and I don't know how to put it into words. It's like 30,000 thoughts flowing all at once and it's like when i first finished reading chainsaw man but instead of like an entire journey it was within one single episode alone and like my god dude like megumin's uh voice actor did an amazing job i think her name is like reed takanashi or something like that i don't remember but like she did an amazing job as i dude and like like all of the voice actors did an amazing job it was crazy like during her final moment she managed to like convey those lines like in a way that like got me to feel shit dude and that ending though that like it set up such an interesting premise like oh he's going to climb the entire entertainment industry in order to find out who killed his mom like the guy who actually killed her he's dead but like through like weird detective skills and shit he figured out that like oh it has to have been the father and like when i was watching it i was thinking like yeah no it couldn't have been the present dude and it couldn't have been like anybody in her idol group because like they weren't really close because that's what he said and stuff and like as he was figuring out who could have done it i thought like oh what if it was the fake mom but like that was just like a dumb thought because like she actually cares about them and stuff but like like the fact that the whole premise is him going to climb the entire industry in order to search for the man that killed his mom is just such a cool idea after the freaking emotional roller coaster that was the first episode and like while i was watching it i thought like okay i know that the that the doctor guy died and he got reincarnated and stuff and i know that she dies i had a dumb idea where it would be like oh uh ruby would become an idol or an actor and then uh aqua would become a detective or something like that i thought it would just be cool to see like him being a detective while his sister is an idol that'd be i should make that unless that's what this uh that's what this does i'm gonna probably i'm gonna read the manga once the anime's done because like my god i am completely hooked on this story now there's always that like saying where it's like meddling through all of the trash eventually you'll find like the one thing that'll reignite your love for the medium or whatever like like there's that hidden gem that like blows you away and reminds you why you love the things that you love and like this did that for me and i am so excited to see where this goes and i have faith in like the story and stuff because like kaguya-sama which was the previous thing uh the uh author worked on before uh like that is it is such a genius series with like the freaking mind battles and it's also a way of like expressing how like they're too prideful but they also like still love each other and stuff and like showing the slightest sign of affection is like admitting that you're weak and it damages your pride and it's like that concept is just so good like the concepts are good and stuff but it wouldn't be anything if they didn't execute it well and they executed it perfectly like dude kaguya-sama is like the only show within like my actual top 10 that isn't a freaking shonen anime because i'm a dumb teenage boy like kaguya-sama's genius so i have faith that this will also be genius and i was like the first episode is enough proof that this series is gonna be good i cannot wait to watch more 
and like see how this goes because that first episode that first episode fucked me up man like that episode got me to feel so many different things and it actually made me like cry at the end like i thought i was gonna like tear up and stuff throughout the entire thing with like you know how uh sarina was like oh i wanted to meet i once and then it turns out that she ended up being reincarnated into ruby and like that part like the fact that she kept on like falling and stuff because she was she couldn't make her body do what she wanted it to do and then i like taught her how to dance and stuff that part i thought that was gonna make me tear but like that death scene that made me actually cry dude i haven't done that in like a long time and it's like oh my god like this this show is genius and I, I i keep saying this but i really cannot wait to see what comes next they took their sweet time setting it up i like pulled up the first episode and i thought oh it's gonna be like another 20 minute episode and then i was baffled when i saw that it was like yeah it's 20 minutes and an entire hour but i am so glad they like fully animated that because that completely hooked me and it gave enough time to like fully develop them enough for me to like care about them like the characters and stuff and then they, <laughs> they freaking shattered my heart with that ending oh my god if they don't drop the ball on this and they manage to like make it as good as the first episode it would cont contend with kaguya-sama for its like fifth place spot i am confident that this could like make the top five at the bare minimum i could see it like landing a spot at like my third favorite but there's a chance that it could be it could tie with like hunter hunter and chainsaw man but i'm just rambling about personal stuff my god that first episode uh, i have not been that blown away by a first episode like that in a long time and i i keep saying this but i seriously cannot wait for more yeah i don't know how to end this because like i've never done this before but like like the timing is pretty good because it's not 50 minutes like i usually do with scripted things and i just popped into my closet after finishing watching the first episode and started rambling about it so like this seems like a decent length i might do this more in the future if this gets like views and stuff i might is like i want to like, do more videos and shit and this seems like a decent way to get my thoughts out um i'm just rambling yeah i'll just end it here before i start going on another tangent um anyway go watch episode one if you didn't because it's amazing i don't know why you would have watched this if you haven't watched episode one because like well, none of what i said makes sense if you haven't but yeah, go watch episode one. If you already watched it, watch it again. I don't care. <laughs> Make sure you like and subscribe, please. I want to be big YouTuber. Let me know if I should make more of these in the future. Take care of yourself. I'll see you on the flip side, and I hope you have a happy birthday. Peace.